Welcome back again to another vlog and for this vlog we will be key mapping Fly VG Apex 2 on Apex Legends. So let's go! Let's start! Get ready! Um, so first we will make save so open fly DG up so create new just um, drag the left stick on the the movement and let's save this a fixed confirm so we have already we have um, and already saved so click this so for the look around for aiming click the right stick on the right side of the screen so you can you should choose the perspective confirm save there you go so let's do simple drag and drop open by DJ app edit a is jump X is crouch um, right trigger is the for fire Y is for reload you can use whatever button you like so it's up to you so just click on save so for cursor it's up to you if you use one button but for me I always use two buttons for cursor so open fly dg app edit so as like i said you can use one button for this or but for me i always use um two buttons if you want to use two buttons just follow me extension key m2 and m1 so that's my cursor m2 and m1 so click on fly mouse so I want this to I want the cursor to show when I'm pressing the button so I'm gonna choose press and hold to turn on and you can adjust the sensitivity and then confirm so on this mode just click this one single three does not trigger so what it does is confirm and save so the reason why we we choose the mode to single key does not trigger so let me show you why we chose that let's say my m1 is crouch let's say m1 is crouch save so my m1 is crouch I'm pressing M1 when we choose the single key does not trigger and we press on the two buttons M1 and M2 the function on M1 which is the crouch will not trigger so there you go so there's another met uh, there's another method for a cursor so it's this let's say the RB let's say RB is our cursor so let's set this Um, when, when, when we click click to open just the sensitivity confirm save this when you we click on RB just click the RB cursor will appear and if you want to remove the cursor just press again the RB so, there you go so for auto run just click on the left stick and this return radius set it to 1% or 2% but 1% is okay and when you press on the forward left stick it will automatically run so for stealth walking just do this I DG up again edit left stick the L and go to switch radius 
um, you can choose any button you like just click on add and press any button for me let's say M1 let's confirm confirm save in order for you to stop walk you have to press the forward left stick and press and hold the stealth button or the M1 button and she will she will walk like this I think it will work on the crouch I'm holding the stealth button and the animation is still the same but I think it will also work as a stealth so that's it um, so if you want to run and use different button here's what you're gonna do by DJ app edit now make any button you like for automatic run for me it's M2 put, put this on put this at the right side of the screen here and real quick swipe up swipe up and then swipe time make it zero swipe range max this out to 127 confirm save so if you press the uh, automatic run button for me which for me is m2 there you go it will automatic run so for the eye open and fly dg app let's say m5 drag it on the eye and make this fps you can use sensing view or sensing shoot it's either of the two let's say sensing view and you can adjust the sensitivity it's up to you save and save if you press and hold the m5 you can use the right stick to look around or you can use the motion sensor it's up to you well, this is the sensitivity for um, the motion sensor and this right stick linkage is the motion sensitivity for the right stick so I suggest you put this eye on the middle on the middle of the screen but slightly uh, at the right side of the screen as you can see here in the video so you will not have any problems when looking around because if we put the the eye icon at the right side of the screen this happens I'm pressing and hold M5 see it returns back to the front view so I really suggest that you put the eye icon at the middle of the screen slightly at the right side so I suggest you put the um, eye icon at the almost at the middle of the screen but slightly at the right side by the way on the cursor the enter for cursor is the right trigger so if you want to use this just press the right trigger see so right trigger is the enter button for the cursor so for doing bag just follow me open fly dg app edit um, for bag i use c put it on here like this choose instant click instant confirm then save this first then open the bag and open again the 5dg app edit another C again this time click by release confirm drag it on the X button and let's make cursor another C again so this time fly mouse and press and hold adjust the sensitivity you like and drag it on the middle of the bag interface 
click save and you when you press in all the letter C C and you can drag the drag and drop items and the the OK button for the cursor is the right trigger. When you release the C key, this happens. See, the back interface will be will disappear. Same goes for the map. For the map, open Fly DG app, edit. Let's do C for the map. Put this on the map. Make this instant. Confirm. Then save this first. Open the map. Open the Play GG app again, edit, make another Z, this time by release, confirm, place it on the X, and if you want to put cursor, make again Z, Z button, and this time, fly mouse, press and hold to turn on, adjust the sensitivity you like, confirm, drag this in the middle of the a map interface then save this close this and if any and, and if you press the C key for the map press and hold the Z key this will happen you can drag and drop and when you and when using cursor the right trigger is the OK or enter and if you want to um, and if and if you want to remove the a map interface just release the Z key or the back button uh, or the map button see press and hold the map button and release the map button see so that's it for the back and map so for marking location or an enemy just follow me by DG app edit let's say M6 Put this on the mark button, mark icon, and make this FPS. It should be sensing shoot, and you can adjust the sensitivity for um, motion sensor and the right stick sensitivity. So confirm and save. When you press, when you single press the M6. Let's go this way. See. Let's go this way. And when you press and hold the a mark button or M6. Never mind. L Never contact. See. Let's go this way. Contact. See. I'm using the right stick. Let's go this way. Contact. See. Never mind. So it's too sensitive. Just. Just. Uh, decrease the sensitivity for right stick it's too sensitive just make it 5 same goes to a uh, sensor let's make this 5 see. pressing all the mark button let's go this way contact see never mind Um, so for consumables, um, you can follow this. Play DG app, edit. Um, let's say we will be using M3 for consumables. Uh, make this instant. Confirm. Put this on top of the arrow up here, and make another M3. Make this. By release, confirm, put this on here, and lastly, M3 again for cursor, fly mouse, press and hold, just sensitivity you want, and put it on here. Save. So, if you press M3, you should press and hold the M3, you can see here, and if you want to choose the um, shield. If you want to shoot, if you want to use the shield, just click on the right trigger. Recharging my shields. See. So, if you just tap the um, consumable button for me, which is M3, 
it will automatically use the whatever you see here recharge my shields so for throw balls um, you can follow this key mapping guide because this key mapping guide for throw balls is what I found effective so play DG app edit um, let's see M4 click here just instant confirm put this on top of the arrow key yes make another m3 again m4 again i mean make another m4 again and this time fly mouse i mean fly mouse press and hold confirm put this on here and the last one m4 again this time by instant so this is by instant remember by instant and then put it on the throw ball and then save so if you press the if you press and hold the um, throw ball button you can see here when you use the cursor the right trigger will be the pickup see and you can throw it so so if you if you if you quick press the trouble button for me it's M4 it will automatically use the uh, the grenade or the trouble see so there's a feature here in apex legend that you can quickly discard what's in your bag so this is the this is the uh, uh, this is it that's the one so if you want to key map that follow me by dg up edit let's say let's use the up d pad place this on the quick arrow up and then let's make this instant confirm then let's make again the arrow up by this time fly mouse press and hold adjust the sensitivity you like and place it on here where you can find the um, quick item to discard so save when you press and hold the, the up the pad you can see here and you can tap the item that you want to discard see so for looting or for that great looting here's the um, here it is so so here it is so for me for looting that crates or for looting I just keep my keep up like this and it right the pad make this just normal and put this on the dead crate loop then make another right D pad and put it on here just also, also normal click confirm save so when you loot that's the icon and when you press the um, right d-pad there it is so for quick quick change of scope make sure this is enabled on the apex legend settings and after you enabled it you can follow my key mapping so by dg app edit um, I like to use two buttons for this it's up to you if you want two buttons or one button but for me it's um, for me it's effective to use um, two buttons for this the combination button so extension key let's make um, left trigger and X so make this macro <coughs> edit 
add add only two make put the LT1 here and the LT2 here save this first and make this single key does not trigger so if ever you set because we set left trigger as an aim and then we set um, X as a crouch so if there's an existing feature for that we have to we have to select this single key does not trigger confirm and save this first and make another button again extension key left trigger and Y drag it here open macro edit add add only two this LT1 should be here and this LT2 should be here hope that you can follow just save this first then make this single key does not trigger confirm and save so if you press on the, um, the aim and if you press on Y that happens so if you press on X that happens to inflate DG Apex 2 there's a feature here that you can use motion sensor the motion sensor even though your cell phone doesn't have a gyroscope or motion sensor you can do that on the um, fly DG Apex 2 you can do gyroscope on fly DG Apex 2 so in order to set that in order to keep up motion sensor on aiming and firing just follow my step fly DG app edit make another um, left trigger for aim and put this take note that put this at the right side of the screen it should be always at the right side of the screen okay choose FPS and sensing view so this is the sensitivity motion sensitivity for um, scope so it's up to you how you set it up and this is the sensitivity for using right stick so confirm say um, you press and hold left left uh, you press and hold left stick see I'm moving my apex too see so that's it so that's it on how to set up the motion sensor for scope and for and for firing let's set the motion sensor for firing did so our fire is right trigger and always remember that put this the motion sensor feature at the right side of the screen so FPS and this time it's auxiliary shoot so it's um, so this is two in one this is the motion sensor sensitivity for your shooting so it's up to you how you set it up and this auxiliary shoot level is the no recoil sensitivity so if you max this out the higher the auxiliary shoot level the lower the recoil is so let's set it first to 10 as our base setting for auxiliary shoot confirm and save this so you, if you press and hold the um, right trigger or shooting button and you move it Reloaded. press and hold and you move your um, TIDG FX2 left and right oh, that happened so that happens Reloaded. so since there's an auxiliary shoot let's go aim let's go scope See? there's a gun lowering so we set it up to 10 
So we have to lessen it to achieve no recoil. So let's try lessen this to four. So there's a recoil a bit and then goes down. So it has really, uh, so for the first round, it has recoil, then it goes down. So the gun is R99 SMG. Let's try another gun. So we have a recoil here set to 6, confirm. So it goes down. So that that's what I meant that different guns and different scope have different recoil sensitivity. So you really have to choose your gun and then in end scope and after you choose your gun and scope that's the time you set up the auxiliary shoot for no recoil. So since the auxiliary shoot level 6 has a uh, gun lowering we have to decrease it. Four. Save. As you can see, uh, there's almost no recoil. So the best auxiliary level for this EMG, Star EMG, is four. See? Let's change gun. So for R99, for R99 SMG, the auxiliary shoot level is four. Let's try this. So as you can see, there's so much recoil. So that was that what I'm saying that you have to um, choose your scope, favorite scope and favorite gun, and then you set the recoil. So there's no um, no recoil to all of the guns. And by the way, if you watch my other videos about the um, one button almost no recoil to all of guns in COD Mobile and PUBG Mobile But in this Apex Legend, we cannot do that Since there's a gun here in Apex Legend that needs to charge And guns here in Apex Legends are have a very different um, recoil sensitivity So we cannot apply DP, PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile no recoil for all of the guns what I suggest is you pick up your favorite scope and gun and then you apply the auxiliary shoot level sensitivity so that's it and also um, Psy DG Apex 2 has a feature that makes your normal um, gun firing to rapid fire but you cannot apply that on Apex Legends this is why so I'm using I'm using R99 SMG and my fire and my fire feature is set up to R. My, and my fire feature is set up to continuous. So this is the normal firing of R99 SMG. Reloaded. So that's the normal firing of the R99 SMG and this is the shooting speed when we set up the fire button to continue so this is it we set it to 30 clicks per second so it's max out and save so this is the continuous click continuous So this is the click continuous on R99 SMG. So see, there's a there's a delay. You can um, hear and see the delay. See? So let's switch guns. So so this is the normal firing speed of L Star EMG. And this is the continuous fire of um, L-Star EMG. As 
as you can see it's too slow it's better to set the firing speed to only normal so that's it that you need to know about the fly dg apex 2 So that's my key mapping tutorial of Fly DG Apex 2 for Apex Legends. I hope that you learned from this tutorial and if you like this video please do subscribe. Please share this video to your friends who, who is a gamer and see you in my next vlog. That's all. Get ready.